cheat code engaged the all new Vortex Defender XL. Finally, an optic that doesn't look like it's made in China. I really, really like how these Defender dots look from Vortex, an American company. And this thing right here is an awesome competitor. A lot of folks complained about how Vortex was so slow to come out because they had their Viper dot and the Venom dot and the Razor dot. And let me tell you one thing, based off what I've seen from the Defender series of dots, Vortex is really coming out making a good quality product that's well made and they really think of a lot of good things. The window on this all new XL model is even bigger than what was on the ST. If you're familiar with a Delta Point Pro, it's bigger than that. If you're familiar with the new Holosun 507 Comp, it's comparable to that, if not maybe even a little bit bigger. And then like an SRO, it's bigger than that, except this dot here is built to be durable. It's not, you know, let's say fragile like some of those other ones. So this thing here, Vortex basically built it to very similar specs, which you're getting on the Defender ST. But more importantly, there's a couple things in here that I think are really cool to see that I think I'd like to see maybe transfer over to the smaller one, but I don't know they'll be able to. So come on in here and take a look at the battery door and what they did. So with the battery door, you actually have this little button that you cannot see when you're shooting. Now, if you're just pick the pistol up and you shoot, you can kind of see that, like, but when you're shooting, you don't notice it. But they have this little, let's call it like a, uh, a retaining pin, but it's spring-loaded, so if you push it in, you actually see that it takes that lever off of your battery door, which is hinged. But then, more importantly, there's another small screw that threads in there, and it actually pins and keeps that battery door closed. So there's no chance of your battery door opening on this dot, opposed to what you see on an SRO, or what you see from SIG, or what you're gonna see also from some of the competitors. There's no way that this battery door is gonna open up on this pistol and you're gonna all of a sudden lose battery power with it. The emitter on these, although the Defender series CCW had issues at the very beginning, there is nothing like that on these. Uh, I didn't notice this playing with it at all before we got to come out here on the range and shoot it. And it just, there's none of that flickering going on whatsoever. And even when this thing is, let's turn down to just where I can barely see it. Yeah, even at the, the lowest setting that I could see it here at about, I don't know, 6 p.m. tonight here in Ohio, I could still not have any of that flickering going on. And that's good to see as well. Now, dot, let's say brightness wise, it actually, once you get all the way to the top and you max out the brightness setting, you get all the way to the top, it's actually going to blink at you telling you you're at the very top, which is good. You can take it back down and set it to what you need it at. And that dot window is extremely clear. None of that blue tint that you see from some of the Trigicon products whatsoever. Just straight clear glass with a good anti-glare on it as well, which sometimes what I see from the Holosun products is that anti-glare, or if they have it, doesn't work nearly as well. So that's good to see as well. Now, what I notice here on the top is your elevation turret and your windage here. The elevation is actually larger, so you would probably be able to use the back end of a shell casing. And the side, although a little smaller, it looks like you may still be able to do that, which we can test that theory. So your windage turret, you can actually use the back end of your shell case to move it. And there is good clicks in there as well. Now, what I've noticed a lot of times with these small dots is that they have no clicks whatsoever. And it's kind of disappointing to see. Now this one, this definitely has them. What's kind of cool is I slapped this dot on top of this Smith & Wesson competitor, this m &P, which first time I'm ever shooting one of these, pretty sweet pistol so far. We'll have a full, full review on this in the future. But it's nice to see that you can use the back end of a shell casing a lot of times like you can with Trigicon products and you can do that. So they definitely thought of that and it's nice because I don't need any tools. So that's good to see. Uh, overall though, the, aesthetically it's pleasing. It has good guards up here in the front like all the other Defender series does where it's actually textured. So if you wanted to rack it off something, you could. And overall build quality again, looks really, really good on here. Now, if you're familiar with the ST series, you know it's a little, it's thinner than what you get from a Delta Point Pro. This optic has a Delta Point Pro footprint. However, this one is definitely taller on that base like a Delta Point Pro or like an SRO. It's not as thin as what you're seeing on that Defender ST, which on like our shadow systems, we'll show you that pistol, I get a full co-witness. Now, if I was to put this on there, chances are that's not gonna happen just because 
it's a little bit taller on that base. You know, the buttons that come out the side, it overhangs, of course, and then they have that polymer, let's say, or rubberized shock insert that they put in there to help for drop protection. I won't be dropping this. This pistol optic itself is geared more towards competition. This model here being the 5 MOA, and then they also are gonna have an 8 MOA here for this, are two great dot sizes, especially for competition shooting. Uh, for defensive purposes, for myself, I usually like between you know three and one. Generally, no more than that for me. But this one here seems really nice, and it's such a good crisp dot. And that's probably everything I've showed people with that Defender ST series is, is that with the dots themselves, they're extremely crisp. Now, some dots I pick them up and I get that little bit of a starburst. These ones I do not, not whatsoever. They're very crisp and very clean. And this XL model is no exception. Now, getting into this dot, we'll shoot it a bit more today. We'll cover a few of the other aspects, such as price. If you're familiar with Vortex, Vortex never prices themselves out of the market. No doubt about it, this thing is priced at a price point that is competitive with its competitors. And more importantly, Vortex is extremely friendly to law enforcement and the military and the first responders out there. So you can get these dots for sometimes up to 40% off, if not more on specials, and that's unbeatable. Vortex is stuff that they do and their warranty like this dot right now You know, I could eat this sucker across the yard run it over with the f-250 hit it with the combine or something like that Pick it up and be like, oh, I don't know what happened to my red dot and I just send it back to Vortex and They're gonna give you a brand new one and no questions asked that VIP warranty. It's hard to beat You know a lot of folks they complain They'll tell you oh, you have to use the Vortex warranty. I have mm, Probably about 30 Vortex products about 25 of them I bought. Vortex has sent us stuff like this dot here and some other newer stuff they come out with, but myself, I bought a lot of their stuff. And up until now, I have sent back three products to Vortex. And every single one of those, they replaced it with a brand new product and I had it back to me within a week. I just, I can't, you can't beat that. I've had other products from every other brand break and it's not like that. So it's good to know if Vortex will have your back. So let's shoot this thing, give you some final thoughts at the end. But as it sits right now, this thing's a winner in my book. What's really nice about the Defender Series in general, and again, this is across all the lines, is that with the XL model, like all of them, is that let's say like I'm on the target, all I have to do is transition my support hand thumb up to hit that button for brightness. I can make it as bright as I want. Hit the obviously max there. Then all I have to do is come back here like with this finger, come up here, I get it right back where I want it. And it's super easy to do because those buttons have a good tactile and positive feel. More importantly with these is you can actually lock out the buttons. Now I do that with my CCW so that there's no inadvertent pushing of that button, either lowering it or raising the dot. And it's nice and then that 10 minute auto shut off and motion activation is good as well. You guys know why I always carry one of these? It's to keep myself honest. And you know what's more important than honesty? This right here, Hunt Fish Shoot, what we stand for, make gun reviews honest again. All day, every day, 2024. What I'm finding is that with the size of the window here on this pistol optic, this Defender XL is extremely fast to pick up the dot on here. But in addition to that, one thing I'll make note of is that here with my Smith & Wesson competitor, um, generally speaking, I always hated M&Ps. We're not gonna get off on too much of a rant there, but I love this thing. And, uh, but it's got a little, like let's say, viewing window to see if you have a loaded chamber. I'm getting a lot of like gas blowback that's coming up and actually making the front side of that glass dirty because it does overhang a little bit. The overhang that you're getting on the Defender XL is no different than what you see from an SRO. It's very, very similar. And in fact, it might be even a touch less. 
So it's not hanging over a lot. It's just something to take note of or make note of with your MMP series due to that window that they have up there. So you can see if you have a loaded chamber, you are gonna get some gas blowback. But overall, I mean, that window is just so good and clear with such a crisp dot. the all new Vortex Defender XL. I think Vortex knocked it out of the park, coming out with a pistol optic geared towards the competitive market. I think they left no stone unturned. Good emitter, excellent design for keeping that battery door closed, 2032 batteries, good overall battery life, shake awake technology, auto shut off after 10 minutes, Buttons that you can lock out, big buttons, so you can easily push them when it's on the pistol without really breaking your grip. Shock shield at the top, huge window, easily an excellent competitor to everything else that's already out there. And if anything, Vortex is doing it better. They took a long time to do it, but I'm glad to see that with their iteration and the current generation of pistol optics, Vortex is doing a wonderful job with the Defender Series and especially my new favorite Defender Series one, the XL model. Guys, check these things out because Vortex knocked it out of the park.